Welcome back to the 29th part in this Python series on the Django Web Framework and in this one we'll sort of look at the URLs that I mentioned we were going to in the last video. So in the last video we were finishing off this middleware and what we were trying to do was just get users to uh, be redirected rather than seeing a page that they're not authorised to look at. So that's what this bit of middleware does. But we finished with sort of hard coding this URL to the logout page. Now the reason you don't want to hard code URLs is because if you put put this URL, this little string, account forward slash logout, in you know multiple different places in your Django project, and maybe you put that URL into the templates, you know, multiple times if you have links to this page or whatever it might be, not necessarily the logout page, but you're gonna have links all over your site, and that's powered by URLs. But if you hard code the URLs and you say, okay, this is the exact URL that I want it to be redirected to, then what happens if you want to try to change one of those URLs? You're going to go into your URLs file, you're going to change the, the URL itself, and then all those links that you had previously incorporated into your beautiful, fantastic, huge site have now been broken because you changed the URL because you maybe wanted to make it more consistent with another part of the website that you're rebuilding or adding to. So in this video I'm going to show you how to sort of avoid that problem using uh, dynamic URLs or using what's called the Django reverse function to be able to use something other than hard coding those URLs directly into your Python code. And maybe in the next video I'll talk about the templates and how you can avoid this in the templates as well. So for the Python, what we're going to do is we're going to replace this URL, so account forward slash logout, with a one that's dynamic. So we're going to use the Django reverse function to do that, which I need to import. So I'm going to go to the top. I'm just going to use this middleware class that we've been working on uh, as an example, but I want to also change anywhere in this Django project, whilst it's still small, that I've got these hard-coded URLs to be dynamic so that it's going to scale more easily in the future. So I'm going to say from django.urls import reverse. So this reverse function is going to allow us to recreate this URL but not by not by actually putting the URL itself into the Python code but instead what we're going to do is look at our urls.py and see the names that we've got on our URLs. Now for whatever reason I haven't given a name to log in and log out yet so I'm going to do that. I'm going to say name is equal to logout and the name here is going to be equal to login. This is why you should always name your URLs because it's much easier uh, in the long run to be able to refer to your URLs by the name rather than by the URL directly. So say in fact you want to move this URLs.py into another app or you want to rename the app instead of it being account forward slash login it could be register forward slash login or registration forward slash login or accounts with an s on the end forward slash login and it's so easy to change that and then not fix all those broken links if you've hard coded your URLs that it's really just much better to say something like what I'm about to do here so instead of hard coding this URL as a string I'm going to say reverse and in that I'm just going to put a string but instead of the string being the URL itself, it's going to be the name that I've given to that URL. So in this case, it was just logout. So this should now give me the URL, and hopefully, if everything works, we should get the button logout still working. So the development server is just refreshed, and I'm going to log in and see if it works or not. So if you remember, this code is going to forcefully log us out if we press the logout button. Uh, for reasons I explained in the last video. So if I press log out, you can see it's still, it's not logging us out, so it's broken and it's not causing, uh, it's not calling this login, this log out function. And the reason for that is because the reverse gives us a string, well in fact I can show you, if we say print reverse log out, so the exact same thing I've got in the if statement, you'll see that so we're printing out the path, so we've still got this print print statement in here, and it prints out account for slash, and then this uh, 302 is the redirect. But if we try that again, so I'm going to refresh, and so we're on for slash account for slash log out. If we press log out, see it doesn't work, it gives us this redirect, and it says, 
So this one, this one here, reverse log out, is giving us this forward slash at the start, which, if you remember, the path which it's being compared to has this .l strip on the end to take away that, that forward slash at the start of the string so that it works with the regular expression matching. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to say .l strip and then that's going to be uh, forward slash, just like that. So now, if we try that, what we should see in the website is when the development server refreshes, it should log us out. So that's how you do the dynamic URLs based on the name of the URL rather than the URL itself, which is a much better way of doing URLs. And now I'm just going to, from now on, just use that entire uh, way of doing URLs uh, because it's just much better and much more scalable, especially when this project starts to grow and we start to have more templates and more Python files that we need to manage and link together. Now, I'm also just going to do a little bit of cleanup as well. So, just to finish off this middleware method for now, I'm going to get rid of all these uh, print statements and comments and things because we don't need that anymore. And I think that looks good. And in the views.py, uh, because we've written this middleware, uh, I'm also going to get rid of the login required decorators because they're completely superfluous now because we've used that custom middleware to sort of override them. Now I think that's really all I need to do in terms of cleanup because that just uh, made, the, made the code base a little bit more concise. And in the next one, I think we're going to talk about adding another template. So if you remember, we've still got account forward slash, I think it was reset password that has that uh, Django template. If I, if I log in, so now that we're logged in, if I go to reset password, so this template is still a Django template which we need to override and we'll do that in the next video.